Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Away, red boarding party. Personnel not involved in boarding stations has to be clear of the upper decks. So whilst Warramunga was on patrol in the Western Indian Ocean, she launched her Seahawk Romeo aircraft to conduct air surveillance. During that flight, the aircraft detected what was a suspicious vessel uh, operating in the area. Therefore, Warramunga was able to close and intercept, uh, and shortly thereafter put a boarding party on board. And as a result of thorough searches and questioning of the master and the crew, approximately 414 kilograms of heroin worth uh, 124 million Australian dollars was seized from the vessel. So as part of the extensive training program that Warramunga Ships Company underwent prior to deploying to the Middle East, her boarding parties were put through their paces for both day and nighttime operations. Uh, therefore, yesterday's activity uh, was well within the envelope of what we'd prepared and trained for, and the crew performed exceptionally well under some pretty challenging conditions. So yesterday's seizure of 414 kilograms of heroin has now taken the total dollar value uh, of narcotics seized by Warramunga Ships Company since deploying to the Middle East in November to over 1 billion Australian dollars. And I think in anybody's estimation, uh, that is an enormous sum of uh, money that is now no longer available to fund terrorist activities around the world. So noting that Warramunga's ships company have now seized uh, seven illicit narcotic shipments worth over one billion Australian dollars, we're finding that the crew are becoming uh, even more determined with every seizure uh, to find, locate and uh, seize these narcotics, to take them off, off the streets, to take them out of distribution and to make the funds that would be generated from their sale unavailable to these terrorist organisations that are operating around the globe. One seven three. One seven eight.